Hello all and welcome back to another interesting lecture in the series of mathematics for machine learning. In this lecture we are going to learn about a special type of matrix that actually increases the efficiency of a machine learning model by helping it solving for unknown. So before we go ahead please consider smashing that subscribe button and drop a like below and let's get started. So today we are going to discuss about matrix inversion or inverse of a matrix. So inverse of a matrix A will be denoted as A to the power minus 1 or A inverse. And a special property of this type of matrix is that if you multiply the inverse of a matrix by the matrix itself, you will get an identity matrix as an output. But remember, not for all kind of matrices you will be able to calculate the inverse and we will also discuss the condition where you should be able to calculate the inverse of a matrix. So calculating the inverse of a matrix is an efficient way of solving linear equation and we will also see that how exactly it is increasing the efficiency in order to solve a linear equation or solving for unknown. And it can be calculated only if the matrix is a square matrix, which means the number of rows should be equals to the number of column and it should not be singular. Now it is extremely important that we understand about this term singular. So if you are following this playlist in sequence, then in the lecture of introduction to linear algebra, we discussed that in linear algebra, we can only have three type of outputs. So in case you have missed that lecture, I will give you a super quick recap. So we have discussed earlier that there could be only three possible outputs in linear algebra. First is one solution, which is this one. And it is the scenario where the matrix is not singular and the other are no solution and infinite solution. So these are the situation where the matrix is singular. So let's discuss about no solution. So this could be a matrix formed by two vectors where the vectors are dependent to each other. So as you can see, the second column is a multiple of the first column by two. And this could be another example. And as you can understand, these two lines will never cross each other. Similarly, an output where we have infinite number of solution, it could look something like this. So we can have two vectors absolutely similar to each other forming the matrix. So this is another example of a singular matrix. And for these two types of cases, you will not be able to calculate the inverse of a matrix. Okay, coming back to the topic, as we were discussing that it can be calculated only if the matrix is a square matrix and it is not singular. So we have understood under what circumstances we will be able to calculate the inverse of a matrix. Now let's go ahead and try to understand that how exactly it is increasing the efficiency for a machine learning model or in linear algebra in order to solve for unknown. So we are already familiar with this representation as discussed in our lecture of matrix multiplication behind a machine learning model. So this is a vector tensor that consists of the independent values like the price of the house and this one is a matrix tensor which consists the dependent values like the predictor of the price like number of bedrooms etc. And the last one is again a vector tensor where we have the weights or the unknowns for which we are trying to solve. So once we are able to find the efficient values for these unknowns, then with the help of a matrix multiplication over here, we should be able to draw the best fit line that will help us to achieve an efficient regression model. And a model training in machine learning is actually all about calculating the values for these unknowns. And what if I tell you that matrix inversion actually makes it very easier to achieve the value for these weights. We will learn together that how does that happen actually. So this vector tensor is represented here by Y. This matrix is represented here by X and this vector of the unknown weights is represented here by W. Let's go ahead and see that how the inverse of a matrix is helping us to solve for this vector. So let's assume that the inverse for this matrix X exists. In that case, I am multiplying with X inverse on both the sides. And as we know by the properties of an inverse matrix, when it is multiplied by the original matrix itself, it will result to an identity matrix. And this part remains the same over here. And as discussed previously in the lecture of symmetric matrix or identity matrix, whenever it is multiplied by a vector, it always gives the output as the vector itself. So the vector remains unchanged. In that case, this vector or 
you can say the array of unknowns can be easily calculated if we perform a simple matrix multiplication between the inverse of the matrix which is known and this vector of the independent value which is also known which means this time it has become extremely easier for us to solve for this unknown by doing a simple vector multiplication between two known tensors and thus we have proven the point that the inverse of a matrix increases the efficiency to solve for unknowns as we have discussed here on the top okay now enough of the theory part let's quickly jump into our jupyter notebook where we can have some hands-on code demo so let's create a matrix x by executing this cell and in the following cell we will try to calculate the inverse of the matrix by this syntax using the numpy library and we are not discussing that how to calculate the inverse of a matrix manually within this lecture because that is outside the scope of this course and neither anyone in your machine learning or data science career will ask you to do it manually by yourself but still by curiosity if you are interested to learn that how to calculate the inverse of a matrix manually then i will provide a link in the description for a very good tutorial and you can check that out so i will quickly execute this cell and this matrix is the inverse for this one i'm also creating an array y that will let's say have the values of the independent feature like price of the house and going by the theory part we should be able to solve for the unknown if we do a multiplication between the matrix inverse of the independent feature and the array of dependent feature so i am calculating this w array or the weights by doing the multiplication between the inverse of the matrix and y and if i'll execute this we have these two values that should be ideally the value for the unknowns or for the weights so let's try to prove that this calculated value is satisfying this equation of y is equals to xw so if we multiply w which is the array of the weights and x which is the array of independent features then the product should be equals to y that is the array of dependent features so here in the next cell i will simply do the multiplication between x and w and as you can see the output is exactly the same as y as we can see over here which means the inverse of a matrix is helping us to precisely calculate the value for the unknowns or for the weights that we require let's also quickly discuss about the situation where matrix inversion is not possible to calculate so here in the next cell i'm creating a matrix which is actually a singular matrix if you pay attention because this vector is exactly the multiple of two for this vector and if we try to calculate the inverse of this matrix then we will get a nice beautiful error which is saying it cannot calculate the inverse of a singular matrix. So this was the example for a matrix where you have no solution in terms of linear algebra. Now also let's discuss about a matrix where you have infinite number of solutions, which means both the vectors are always intersecting each other, or you can say both are equals to each other. Here as well, if I try to calculate the inverse, I will get the same nice error saying it cannot calculate the inverse of a singular matrix so that is it for today's lecture i really hope that you got to learn something new and interesting today if yes then please consider supporting the channel because in this channel it is our agenda to come up with this kind of tutorials for you to increase your knowledge base thank you very much for your time today and i will see you in the next lecture